Welcome to Reading and Writing Between the Lines, a podcast series about communication skills in the workplace. I'm your host, John Witzman. Join me as I speak with industry professionals and Conestoga faculty and alumni to explore their journeys with reading and writing skills. Follow us as we talk about how communications learning has changed over the years, how these skills are used in a wide range of industries, and the future of workplace communications. What do you think that um, current students in project management and the related fields, what do you think that you might be able to say to them that would be sort of helpful or encouraging or motivating if they're if they're listening to this, you know, in week seven and they've got uh, com assignments along with four other assignments, how do they how do they stay plugged into this course while they've got all this other thing, all this other stuff going on in their in their life? Well, as a as a project manager, it's about you know proper planning. So so oh, don't interesting. don't leave it to the to yeah. the last minute to to try to get everything done because things will fall through the cracks and. As you'll learn quickly in the field or in the professional setting that if you let things fall through the cracks, it will cost you dearly, not only as a professional, but in terms of actual monetary uh, and right. fiscal issues, right? When it comes to your owners or, you know, your stakeholders and different things like that. So I love that idea of <clears throat> of the 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 homework assignments, the, the communications project being viewed as a part of a larger set of a project, right? That, that, and that's what it is. And that's what it is. That's so what it is. It doesn't have to be, uh, doesn't have to set your heart afire, nope. right? Nope. But it is a, it's a, it's a task. It's an assignment. It's, it's a requirement. It's, and, and so you now your it. challenge is how do I make time for this? How do I, how do I use the resources that I have to make sure that it meets a high standard and then carry on with the rest of my 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 responsibilities so that the overall project is complete. And it's uh, to tie it into what you were talking about as kind of like the holistic. Um, I don't want to call it a soft skill, but to the personal development and personal growth. Yeah. You know, there's things every day that I deal with that I don't want to deal with. Yeah. Just as a as right? a as a husband, as a as a person. <laughs> I don't know if a, you wanted to go there yeah. first. <laughs> <laughs> right. But uh, you know, and that's just kind of part of it. You have to just buckle down look at it and go, okay, you know, if I can set up two hours right. to frame my thoughts on this project A, yeah, that's a step one. That's, yeah. a, that's a move in the right direction. You know, set it down, move it aside, move on to another project and get that done. Or go hang out with your friends yep. or, or do something just to go for a run, you know, break up the, the monotony of, of every day, right? And, and then, you know, just those incremental steps. And like we were saying, you know, that whole personal development is so important when it comes to project management, but not not just that, but just, you know, as a professional, you can't let things slip through the cracks because they're just such a poor reflection on you right. as a professional and your capabilities. And, you know, you can do 15 great things, but if you do one bad thing that sticks out yeah. and costs everybody a lot of money or time or yeah. headache, those 15 things are going to fall by the wayside pretty quick. Right. That's, I think, so insightful and so helpful to people listening. You've also given me a, a great idea for a, a cross-program assignment where the project management students uh, work with uh, uh, other students to develop a uh, a, a, a completing your completing all your assignments program. That's a great idea, right? Uh, yeah, that's so, a great so idea. So we'll, we'll continue this one offline. You'll show me how to actually get all that work done on time. <laughs> because as a uh, as a communications uh, student, uh, I, I still have those those procrastination habits. I think in my yeah. genes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So so it's I'll hard be, to curb those. It's it, hard. It for is. Sure. It takes a lot of time. And that marks the end of another episode of Reading and Writing Between the Lines, a podcast hosted by me, John Witzman, on behalf of the Communications Department and School of Interdisciplinary Studies at Conestoga College. You can find other episodes of this series on our YouTube channel, Reading and Writing Between the Lines. Stay tuned for more episodes. Thanks for listening. <laughs>